In this video, we will do a deep dive into the delivery options set up with Nintex Azure Sign and Salesforce. There has been a recent update for the Nintex Doc Gen for Salesforce application in the Salesforce App Exchange, which streamlines the integration process. You will notice here that we are inside of Salesforce and we are looking at the app launcher right now. What you may notice is that we don't have the Azure Sign Lightning app inside of the Salesforce instance. The reason for that is because in order to use the Azure Sign delivery option, you now no longer need the Azure Sign Lightning app to also be installed. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. Please note that there are still some instances where you might want to use the Azure Sign Lightning connection. If you find yourself without a necessary function with the new version, we recommend utilizing your Azure Sign Lightning connection until necessary development updates have been made. Let's go ahead and jump into the Nintex Doc Gen app. From within the Doc Gen admin, go to Integrations and you will create a new Nintex Azure Sign connection here. We will click Add Service and then select Nintex Azure Sign. Next, I will enter my Nintex Azure Sign username along with the password. Then, I will click Authorize. You will be required to select your environment. Then click Save. That integration has now been created successfully and now we can actually use this as part of our delivery option for any of our packages. I'll go into my DocGen packages and I happen to have one here that's around opportunities. From here, I will now go into my opportunity signing package. We will just use a sample word quote template just to keep things simple for the sake of this video. We will navigate to and click the delivery tab, scroll down to electronic signature and select Nintex Assure Sign. In the delivery option name field, we will call this sign document. I'm going to make this available on lists and reports and individual records. We'll scroll down and select an Assure Sign account from the drop down selector here. In the Assure Sign template drop down selector, I will choose my desired template. Below this, you will then be asked to complete the Signer 1 details. In this space, you will also see what your dynamic job blocks could be if you want to take these and copy them into your document that you're running through DocGen. I've already got mine set up. So I'll just click Save. Now I could test this if I want, but I'm pretty confident that this is going to work and so I'm going to just jump into my Sales Console. In here, I've got my example opportunity. One thing that you do need to do is if I go into my setup and back into my object manager, you'll find that there's this new Assure Sign Envelope object, and you'll want to make sure that you've got a lookup to whichever record type that you're going to be running this off of. We are currently working on getting this added as a component, so you'll just be able to add it directly to the page layout. But right now, you will need to go and add a relationship. So I've got to look up to my opportunity here because I'm working with opportunities. I could do this for contacts or accounts or whatever that might be. I'll go ahead now and select Generate Document. We will check to verify that the delivery method for the DocGen package has Sign Document enabled. Then click Run. We'll now proceed and send this to Assure Sign, which will display a pop-up notification that your package has been submitted. In the Assure Sign Envelopes area of the screen, click View All. Locate the package, click to select, and we will see that this envelope is now in progress. If I check my email inbox, I can see that I can start and finish my signing process. I should now be able to see that my status has been completed. Going into the Related tab, I can see that I have my signed document and we are good to go. A few notes on the current release, April 2022. The following features are currently not available but development is in progress. The History tab and In-Person Signing. In this video, we reviewed the updated delivery option setup process with Nintex Assure Sign and Salesforce, which is now a more simplified and streamlined integration. 